welcome to my channel so today yes it's that time and it's the June finished pages so all of my colored pages from the month of June and uh, yeah it wasn't too bad I got a couple of like real pictures done and obviously I've been, I got some good work done in my 10 books to finish oh and also I have a diamond painting to show right at the end it's just a simple one but it's a fun one it's got a little gimmick I, I, yeah I'll show you that at the end because I know not everybody's interested in diamond painting so yeah let's get started so let's start with some of the 10 books to finish because I've done a few in, in a couple of books so that's good so the first one actually I'll show you the one that's it's at the back because this is the one that I did first in the month and this was it was this one so this is the inverted mandalas from Sun Life Drawing and if you're not familiar well that's not a normal one but um, yeah they're this style and I colored this one which is all done in glitter gel pen I'm not sure how it's picking up but it is sparkly and it's a very simple palette so it's pinks oranges and yellows I think I might have put a little bit of red in there but not a lot uh, yeah so nice and simple and I quite like the palette but I wanted something a bit punchier so I, I wanted a bit more in your face so I went first. so this is the second one I did so this one is a very similar palette still so we've got the we've got the pinks and the yellows and uh, but obviously they are I've got a bit of turquoise green in there as well and purple but I went for all out uh, bright punchy neon colors uh, these were the neon and the pastel colors that you get in the gel pen sets that I often don't know what to do with but it's perfect for this book because you can see how it really 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 jumps out so yeah I did two from that book so that's good uh, I do need to work more in this book because uh, I'm behind schedule if I want to get it finished before the end of the year but that's the first the next book is a familiar visitor as well from my 10 books to finish you all know if you've been here for a while you know I love this book this is my no thinky book so I did a few from here this month and uh, which is quite good because I was a little bit behind schedule because I had a busy couple of months previously um, I'd fallen behind with how many I wanted to do each month but this is this one um, nice and simple so we've got I've got I do like blue and orange is like one of my favorite combos that the, the colors really complement each other and then I threw in some green so I did these just in um, some of those metallic I think it was the crazy art ones that you can get in Walmart I got them when I was on holiday but they're basically just you know glitter marker pens uh, not gel pens but the glitter marker ones and it worked really well actually I, I should use them more often uh, but yeah that's that one and then the next one I did from this book I did this one you might have seen this one if you follow me on Instagram because I did post this one there <laughs> I'm not very good at I, I post about a third of my pictures on Instagram if I'm lucky I'm not very good at Instagram but uh, I did post this one I went for a um, kind of the same style as what we have on the front cover so you know just the single palette I went for all blues because I kind of thought of him as a bit of a snowy owl I don't know why um, really he's more of a barn owl perhaps I should have done it in browns but uh, I, I fancy the blue owl <laughs> and that's what I got so yeah just three tones of blue really I got the the pale the medium and then the dark which is nearly black so uh, but it's a nice strong contrast I like contrast in my pictures so yeah that was that one and then finally I did one of these so these are one of the bonus pages that you get at the back so this strictly speaking this is not from one color this is from oh it is from one color but it's from one color mandala needs to say I didn't do it in one color <laughs> but I did do it in gel pens so we have more shiny glittery ones and uh, yeah I quite ha like how that turned out uh, again I've gone for a simple palette and they used a bronze which is almost orange and again with that blue I told you I like that that color combination but I quite like ha how that turned out so I've got three out from there uh, not too many left of that a couple more months and I'm done right so the next one is from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly now I when I did this picture it was a nice simple easy one because I thought I was gonna do a second picture and in the end I uh, just I ran out of time like where did the month go so all I've done really is this one and it was the simple sort of uh, border and I've done it in glitter gel pens I've actually used the Pentel dual metallic ones so because I do like uh, the way they color shift um, I'm not sure if you can see it but this, I've used the blue green and then I've used the pink and pink metallic to uh, do that one so yeah nice and simple I, I like I say when I did this I did this quite early in the month and I would planned to do one of the other pages 
just I never got back to it. Uh, another time, it's not going anywhere. So that is my quick and easy one from Johanna Basford's Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Uh, as per usual, I will leave links down in the description for any of the books that I show today. And also, if you want flip throughs, most of my books do have flip throughs, so check out my playlist. And next we have a book, uh, we have Nature Colour by Numbers by Arcturus Publishing and it is compiled by Felicity James. So this is like a compilation book and I have a bit of a love-hate with this book because I can never make up my mind whether I actually like the pictures or not because they're nature pictures so I want them to look realistic. Part Well, part of me wants them to look realistic and the other part obviously it has all the, you know, it has all the numbers showing and the key lines so uh, you don't always get a natural look. But I do quite like how this turned out so I think I'm kind of coming around to the idea of <laughs> of doing these you know just just relaxing a bit instead of taking uh, nature pictures which are so, always so pretty like taking it so seriously but uh, yeah I used alcohol markers for this nice and simple I actually didn't mind if it ble bled bleeded bled because uh, I like it kind of helps soften the edges of things but yeah so nice and simple and but quite effective it's good. I think this is, um, what's it called? Giant's Causeway, I think it is. Or meant to be. I'm not sure if it is. But yeah, so that is the one that I did out of there. I don't do much in this book. I should do it more. Um, yeah. Maybe next year's books to finish. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Nature Colour by Numbers, by compiled by Felicity James. So next up we have Colour by Colours Tetris. So this is a book by Kira Shoshneva. And uh, it's a recent purchase for me. I just got it in my colouring book haul uh, from Amazon a, a couple of weeks back. And I've done one picture in it. And it's this one. Now I don't generally mind the pixel type um, art, bizarrely. I don't mind. The numbers showing through drive me mad. But the pixels, I don't mind so much. This one though, I'm... a bit on the fence about to be honest I mean I could see like this is like a valley and this we got the grass and the valley and this is like a sunrise I think but um, yeah I'm not entirely sure that I liked how that one came out to be honest uh, it's my first from the book and so I that's why it's not in the book bag for July because I, I just needed to take a step away I don't like if I did a second picture that I didn't like then that would put me off the entire book so I'm just gonna have a, a month off and then I'll try a different picture in future maybe I had too high expectations I really liked the concept of this and yet when it turned out I it didn't do it for me so yeah that was a little bit of a disappointment and as I say it like the paper is strange as well because it's not it's the expensive paper but it's not that super glossy paper but look I did that with alcohol markers and it barely bleeds through so it is something special coating on the paper and as you can also see I don't know if you can also see but like the the alcohol marker it I've got little splodges where it like it kind of pulled pulled the ink pulled so yeah it's it's a bit of an odd one a bit of an odd one but anyway <laughs> I, I'm wibbling um, that is color by colors Tetris and uh, yeah it was okay so I did one picture from my Kawaii Girls. So this is a four books in one. The picture I have chose to do. So the story behind this book is that I find it very hard not to do pencil work on grayscale. So I'm trying to force myself to just use alcohol markers. I can do it. It's fine. So she's like obviously a sort of, I'm not sure, Hawaiian or Polynesian type girl. She's like, she's in the tropics because that kind of looks like a palm tree. And so, yeah, I literally just used alcohol markers apart from a little bit of Posca where I've put some white Posca around the, around, you know, the clouds. And also, I put a, I, as I had my Poscas out, I thought, oh, I'll just put a yellow ring around the sun as well. But apart from that, it is all alcohol marker. And it was quite nice. I do like how it turned out. Uh, it's still quite hard for me to not shade. <laughs> I was just like, mm, mm. but I did it. Um, and I think I actually did this in my Copic. So, you know, I have a very limited selection of Copics. So it just shows that even when you've got a small uh, colour palette of, of things, you can obviously still make it work. So, yeah, that is my girl from Kawaii Grayscale. Great. Ugh. Jade Summer. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do another picture from this book, I hopefully, next month. Because I'm going to do a Christmas in July one. Okay, so next up we have Circle of Life. Uh, which is by Mel Pamini Chatsy Pangiotu. I'm starting to get better at saying that. Well, assuming I'm saying it right. Uh, 
I'm not. It's not the um, colour and chat that we're doing. I'm still working on that. We need to. Yeah. So hopefully next month. But that's our work in progress that we're doing as a sort of colour along. But the picture I did was with the. It was a buddy colour. Oops. I just pulled my tag out. Um, it's a rare buddy colour. I'm just trying to get to grips with all my buddy colours. I've eased off them a lot because I got myself in quite a fix. But this was a buddy colour with Ren Kelly. I will leave a link to her channel and her Instagram below. Uh, she's lovely. You need to check her out if you don't uh, already. So this is a buddy colour we did together. Uh, we did use obviously quite similar palettes because this is a, a watery themed one so obviously our water was blue and then there was like leaves so there was like I think she used she might have used green but I've used a sort of goldy green and so uh, it's surprising when you don't talk to somebody about what colors you're going to use you actually still end up using very similar colors <laughs> so that was really cool uh, but yeah I used the Faber Castell Pit Artist brush pens for these because I couldn't use alcohol markers uh, so I'm not a huge fan of water-based ones in general pens but if I do have to use them then I really like the Pit Artist brush pens because uh, yeah because they've got brush nibs so I, I, I like them and they have some really nice sort of they have these bright colors and yet somehow they're also inky because they use India ink so they have that kind of even though they're bright they're kind of muted I, I can't explain it but yeah, so the only blending I did, which I did do with the pens, there is absolutely no pencil work or even gel pen, which is rare for me. I just blended very slightly with the brush pens straight onto paper. So our sails have um, some shading, but that shading had also been put in by the artist. So it was quite a natural, I didn't have to think too much about it. <laughs> But that's the only sh blending I did or shading everything else straight. Oh, no, I tell a lie I did do a little bit there just to make his stripes look a bit not uh, Not you know too artificial looking so yeah, I Blended that a bit but apart from that everything is straight coloring and uh, Yeah, thanks for the buddy color Ren. I enjoyed it and that is my first from this book as well So I'm really excited to have that first one done and I've got a second one nearly done as well Okay, and I'll just get you in a little bit closer for this book because uh, it's one of these baby ones. It's the size of my hand. So yeah, I didn't want the camera so far away. So I, oh, I love how this one turned out. So if you're not familiar with this book, uh, basically you get a grayscale image on one side and you get the uh, coloured one on the left hand side. And this is all based off of the Kew Gardens botanical, uh, what would you call it? Like their library. So this is back where all the Victorian botanists were cataloging the plants so they have this really sort of um, old-fashioned feel to them and I love the style so I've done one from this again this is my first from this book so it's one for Lavella's uh, Colour Your Hoard which I I think I posted on Instagram yeah I did I posted this one on Instagram so as you can see this one the paper was actually on I don't know what do they all like that no they're not so this one was on a sort of tone tan paper but the regular one that I did was on white and I did this entirely with pencils so I use my luminance pencils for this again I only have uh, I think I have about 30 of the luminance set not a full set not even remotely close to a full set but you can still work with small sets and get really well I don't want to blow my own trumpet but I really like how this one turned out so I think with, even with a small set of pencils you can get some really really nice results uh, it's a bit brighter than their one uh, I think part of that though is down to the fact it is actually on white paper not tone tanned but uh, yeah I just I, it was it was fun I really enjoyed this and I've got the sister book to this so this is delightful colouring I have also got Enchanting Colouring, which is exactly the same book but with different images, but it's the same style. So I'm going to do one from there next month as well. And uh, but yeah, I just I really love how this turned out. I think it's really pretty. I love it when I get a picture and at the end I'm like, oh, so did I really do that? <laughs> Sometimes it's just shock. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, I did I really do that? And uh, it wasn't somebody else. But no, I did it, and I'm I'm proud and I'm happy. So that's it for the colouring books. Leave me a thumbs up on the way out if you are bailing. Uh, but I'm now about to do the diamond painting. Okay, so I've got you zoomed back out for this one. I just did the one this month. Obviously, 
at the beginning of last month I just started my new diamond painting channel which if you haven't seen that of course check it out I'll link it up there uh, but that is what we're starting that up and what we're starting my heaven and earth uh, huge you know cross stitch to a diamond painting uh, project getting that up and running and think I just I only had time for this one I, I've got a couple of whips I'm also doing my wolf from Victoria Moon but for now, this is the only one I actually managed to complete. Now it's very simple. This is the first time I've ever done a partial. Um, and if you want to see this unboxed, I've also done that over on my other channel as well. I did do this as a unboxing from FG Normal with along with another painting, which was really, really pretty. You should check that out. <laughs> Uh, but this one, it has a party trick. Now, unfortunately, I kind of show you the party trick because it's daytime. But this one, all these white drills are all glow in the dark. Now, I did try to take a picture of it last night in the dark. And while I could see it glowing beautifully with my eyeballs, my phone seemed to have, it, it wasn't, it, it wouldn't take a picture. I mean, you could see it, but it, it was like you could hardly see it. Whereas it's really bright. So what I will do now is I'll just put in the picture from, this is the picture of it on the FG Normal site. And it is quite accurate. It is, it's super bright. Uh, you do have to charge these drills with light. So yeah, you do want to keep it in a place where it can, it's near a light or near a window so that the drills can charge up. But it was just so much fun to do. I think I did this. I didn't do it in one night, but I, I think it just took me two evenings to do. And it was a lot of fun. I'm, I, like I say, I've never done a partial before. Um, I'm not sure if it's something that I would want to do all the time but once in a while you just fancy something different don't you and this was different and fun the only problem i had with it is one of these couple of these strands didn't have any glue on them <laughs> so i had to fortunately i had some tacky glue so i just put in a couple of dots but like there was like four or five drills that's literally no glue because there's no glue on this part they just have it on the strands and that's it for the month then so thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next month bye for now Bye.